Millers, bakers, and processors all desire different wheat characteristics based on the final end product they are producing. Wheat quality is a measure of the grain suitability in producing that specific end product. Take this chart as an example. Buyers who are looking for wheat to produce noodles are more flexible than others who are producing high quality pasta and will only accept high protein durum. Price premiums and discounts are used to signal the demand for and the availability of wheat characteristics in the market. Historically, it was the Canadian Wheat Board who established payment spreads across wheat protein levels, responding to world supply fluctuations and market demand. As this figure illustrates, the payment spreads for high-protein hard red spring wheat has fluctuated over the years. Protein premiums were negligible in years of abundant high-grade, high-protein milling wheat production as seen in the 06-07 crop year and significant in years of short supply such as the 2010-11 crop year. With the shift from single desk to open market, producers are witness to the variability in price spreads across wheat grades and protein levels. Whereas farmers would not have previously seen the impact of a change in world wheat stocks or a high-yielding but low-protein domestic crop until they received payment, the open market immediately informs producers of market supply and demand conditions through price signals that occur on a daily basis. And in many cases, the price could even fluctuate within a single day, as was the case with DNS wheat in Montana on September 1, 2010, for example. So, what does this mean to you as a wheat producer? Well, these open market price signals may provide you an opportunity to select different markets than the traditional high-quality, high-protein markets as you recognize the narrowing of spreads between high and low-protein wheat. This in turn may make wheat more competitive with other crops in rotation, as there is a potential for a shift in varieties of wheat grown from predominantly high-protein wheat to include a mixture of high-yielding, mid-protein varieties. It also means that producers who are more diligent in the timing of their sale can recognize gains when they feel the price and terms might be most advantageous to their operation. Here's what producers can do to help tilt the table in their favor. Take the time to learn about protein spreads, the relative profitability of wheat classes and other market factors. Determining the price spreads and what they mean for your business will empower you to make better decisions. Know the quality of your harvested crop. Proper sampling at harvest time and getting your crop graded will allow you to understand what the quality characteristics of your crop are. This will make it much easier to market your crop to the right buyer. Shop the market for the best deal for your particular crop quality. You now have the ability to time sales of your crop to meet the market demands for different quality characteristics. You also have the ability to shop around for the company willing to offer you the best price for your specific wheat grade and protein level. For more information, hop onto the Alberta Agriculture website.